All right. So here's the situation. Um, a lot of people are using embedded fields now. And so there are situations where you have nested branching logic. And uh, I, I know that Manny did a really nice presentation on embedded fields with branching logic. But if you have some nested branching logic, what you what you may run into is um, like orphaned labels. I'll show you what I mean. So here's a situation for a study drug administration. And, and there's a route of administration. And when you choose one, there are a list of questions that are attached to this particular choice, this interthecal choice. Um, and hmm, I see that I failed to bring something across correctly. Uh, but you see that you get labels that relate to interthecal. All these questions relate to interthecal. If you change your option to intervitral, you get only questions that relate to the intervitral uh, option and same with subcutaneous. They're only questions that relate to that. So the, the key to that, if you haven't done this before, if you have, then you know this will be all review or repeat type information for you is to create not only the field with the branching logic. So for example, this is the normal branching logic or interthecal. This is the first one, um, you know, gauge the needle, et cetera. Um, oh, and I see what the problem is there. That's a dynamic field. Or descriptive field. Uh, anyway, so you set these up with the branching logic, and like this is a part of what Manny demonstrated, but uh, you also need to create a label that uh, will be used in the field um, in your in your embedded field so that it doesn't show, otherwise you're going to get a bunch of options that will never really be populated uh, because they don't have anything to do with that particular route of administration. But by creating labels and you follow the same convention uh, in the uh, HTML in the background, I mean, you're still uh, route of administration. So you're still following um, the for for a label, even though you're embedding it, you still have the background colors the same. It just tosses in uh, the um, you just substitute the label with the embedded field that label that you want to put in there. So uh, it just looks a little cleaner. Um, at least it should. Uh, let me open that again. So there we are. So anyway, uh, that's all I really have to show you today. Um, if anybody has any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, this is going to be a short day. And I'm sorry we don't have more to present to you. Um, but we'll get there.